Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> um, I'm currently traveling right now, but let's talk about the Brawl Stars update. With the last update we got, Brawl Ball's goal was changed and the pro players were not happy. Now, instead of spawning behind the goal, you'll spawn inside the goal. This completely changes the game mode and won't be frustrating to lose when you respawn now. Another mechanic that they're introducing is that when you kick the ball, it consumes one ammo now. This cripples Mortis and Brawl Ball, but he is getting a buff, so it's not bad. Not many people knew this, but the difference between yellow grass and green bushes was that the green bushes used to grow back after 35 seconds. After this update, not anymore! If you're close range like El Primo, be careful not to destroy the bushes with your super. If you're long range like Brock, you want to eliminate the bushes if you're facing an El Primo or other tanks. Essentially, this makes late game tanks a lot weaker. In Showdown, if you've ever played any brawler over 300 trophies, it used to show three question marks. But they're simplifying the UI, so it won't show any text above the head now. Clean. This is a very subtle change when the poison expanded in Showdown. It would damage you immediately, but if it grows on you now, the first tick of poison won't deal 1000 damage immediately. In Bounty, the games are going to be a bit more fast paced. They're reducing the entire match time from 2 minutes and 30 seconds down to just 2 minutes. It always did feel a bit dragged out, so this feels like it was the right decision, at least for me. <laughs> So with the balance changes, Nita is getting a nice little 33% buff on her star power. What is star power? Why are all my brawlers level 6? They're increasing her star power heal from 300 to 500 health. This means that when she hits someone, her bear heals 500. And when her bear hits someone, it heals Nita 500. Now with Brock's star power, it allows his rocket to leave a little flame on the ground for a few seconds that hurts enemy brawlers. They're increasing this burn damage by 25% from 240 to 300 DPS. Bo was really bad at everything, but amazing once he unlocked his star power. They're tweaking this so it feels better. His star visibility range used to allow him to see six tiles further. Now they're reducing that to only four tiles. To balance out Bo's early level progression, they're increasing his damage though by 14% from 420 to 480. This is per arrow. That's potentially 180 more damage if you land all three arrows. El Primo's star damage is increasing by 33% as well. When he lands on enemies, they burn over four seconds and they would use to deal 600 damage. Now it's going to deal 800 damage. Barley's star power healed him if he hit anyone. They're increasing this by 50%. This is an increased healing factor from 200 health to 300 health. They're increasing his main attack by 6%. It dealt 600, but after the update, it's going to deal 640. His super burn damage is getting an increase by 12% damage too. But here's the catch with all of these crazy buff that Barley is getting. His super's burns will no longer stack. It will no longer deal 13,000 damage to the safe. It will no longer instant kill El Primo. To make up for this though, they're also expanding the range of the bottles to be much larger to offer more area denial. Poco is a simple man. His star power enabled his main attack to heal 400. Now it's going to heal 500. He used to be the best gem carry before Pam came along with all of those buffs, but hopefully with this buff, it kind of shifts the options to have Poco as another gem carry instead of Pam. Daryl's star power basically activates when he uses his super to roll. He gains a shield that reduces his damage by 30%. Now, it'll be reduced by 40%. He's always been a bit clunky since his rework after global launch. They're increasing his damage per shell by 7% from 260 to 280. This is per shell. This is potentially up to 160 total more damage if you land all 8 shells. Tara's star power was always just an afterthought, weaker than clone spell from Clash Royale it felt. They're increasing her summons damage from 200 to 400. Now it's going to be a bit harder to ignore. And they're increasing the survivability a bit too from 2000 health to 2400 health. Leon has been the bane of my existence. Insanely overpowered and I knew, I knew that he was going to get nerfed. That's why I pushed him to 500 as my very first brawler. His invisibility time is being reduced from 10 seconds to 8 seconds. His main attack damage is being reduced by 8% so at the closest range possible. From 500 to 460 damage per shuriken. Mortis is getting a huge damage buff. Only 1% of the top players were able to use him to his 
fullest potential. They're increasing his main attack and his super damage by 12% from 800 to 900. They've reworked his star power and are removing the green skulls from the game. Kind of confusing when Frank had the same skulls. When Mortis kills a brawler, he's now going to instantly gain 1800 health. Frank's star power is getting reworked too. No longer with all those clutters of skulls on the map. When he kills a brawler, he immediately gains a buff that increases his damage by 40% for 10 seconds. When Global launched, the maps were expanded and adapted to landscape mode. As a result, Ricochet no longer had the same reach he had prior to the map reworks. He fell off the meta a bit, but they want to spice him up. They're buffing his attack by 7% for each bullet that will now deal 300 damage. Now, I'm surprised that Pam wasn't nerfed in this update. She'll remain dominant mid laner in gem grab, and hopefully with the buff for Poco, it'll increase his damage too. I'm currently in San Francisco right now. I've been traveling all month. I've only been back in my studio a few times to record a bunch of videos, but hopefully after I'm back from my studio, I'll have higher quality updates for this. And in future Brawl Stars balance updates, I would love to have actual examples of the footage. Thanks for watching.